morning everyone welcome back it's time to pick right up where we left off on the torture test ah uh, i'm hoping that a redfish hurries up and destroys that mirror lure paddle tail because uh i just i seem i don't know let's not really talk bad about it let's give it its due whatever it's due and uh, get right out there i'm loving the weather that we've got right now because we have a cold front in the middle of july it is a refuge to be able to escape the heat so uh, let's get this kayak unloaded i've got a bit of a late start but better late than never okay it's time to grab another paddle tail mirror lure sorry you do not get the call okay it's time to tie on another lure and the remaining three choices that we have are down south egret baits and norton i think i'm going to go with the norton right now let's see how this fella is going to do can you hold your own against some of the top paddle tails out there buddy there we go all right nice and straight so let's see what the norton has got underneath the hood can you get it done buddy it'll blow up right up there right up ahead it's a good thing that i got my reel in my hand because i can make an immediate cast and there was nothing it's probably a bait fish horsing around playing the trick on his buddy <laughs> Boy, I scared you. All we're doing right now, everyone, is cruising to the back lake. We'll make a quick cast to some of these little, where the bends happen, and it makes a somewhat little flat, shallow flat. You can find reds on there. And then we also cast towards these drains, like this one right here. Okay, one more cast. Let's see if we got anybody lying in wait. Right there where the drop happens. And it goes from the flat into the bayou. But, yeah, we're trying to get to the back lake as quickly as we can. All the while casting to places like that. Got him. Oh, yes. I knew there was one in here. And it's about time. <clears throat> Boy, this guy is fighting like digging hard i've got the drag cinched all the way down because we ain't playing we, we're trying to conduct a test for being such a small little dude you sure are fighting hard there we go whoo baby took a little while but i knew y'all were out here just had to hold up for a second huh all right here we go that's a that's a proper sized redfish right there. That is a slot Norton lure right there. Beautiful. All right, let's get this hook out. Right there, look at that. We'll check the paddle tail here in a second. 21 and a quarter inch long redfish. Pinch tail right there, 21 and a quarter. Oh, my beautiful friend. Thank you so much for playing. Come on. Uh -oh. Well, I was going to say go get a little bit bigger. Look at that. They're still over there. A lot of them are still over there. We've got to hurry up. Let's check this thing out. Put the net away and then continue casting. But, huh, really not much damage to it at all. Okay, one fish for the Norton. There we go. If I could just get a little bit closer to that grass line, I think it'll be do like it'll do us wonders. However, there seems to be a fish right over there where I just cast, maybe a little bit further on the cast. Right over there. Yeah, what I tell you. No, he got off. No, he's chasing. He's coming straight at me. I thought he got off. I was like, no. There's another one. Man, they are some brute fighters. Somebody. <laughs> we got a dump truck on the end of the line. Whoa, 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 son. Get over here. No, 
Keep that head up. Keep the head up. Keep the head up. Oh, yes. Well, I thought he was going to be bigger. Man, he was certainly fighting like he was a freaking darn bull. And here we go. Another beautiful redfish. And I don't think the lure has taken much damage. That's number two. Let's get this hook out. There we go. Beautiful redfish again with the measurement. 20 with a pinch tail, 22 inches long. Not a bad deal. Oh wait, no, 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 I did. Whoa, there he goes. Oh boy said I've been exploited long enough. <laughs> oh yes, back to back casts. And I know there's got to be at least, hopefully, one more out there. Check this out, everyone. I saw these crabs here the last time I came out. And I'm curious, uh, for those of you that might know, I heard someone say that the crabs come in to molt. And that's probably what they were doing. But these are some really, like, well-put-together crabs. Doesn't look like they molted. I don't know if somebody just emptied out a crab trap or threw these guys up here but you got one two three four five and six there's another one right down there seven eight over there there's quite a few of them Let's see. and then i can see some right over there so i don't know if that's a like a crab trap or something of the sort but Man, these guys are massive looking crap. So y'all know the size of a standard paddle. And that thing is massive. Here, let's get a close-up for y'all to be able to see. Look at that right there. That is a huge crab. Look at them claws. I've been seeing a lot of them out here in the marsh. And these things are... Yeah, well, I, you know what, it may, well, let's take a look at it really fast. I was going to say, it may be a molted crab because there, it's hollow on the inside, completely hollow. Actually, I don't know if that's a molted crab. I think that's just a dead, dehydrated fella. Yeah, there's no way that that guy squeezed out of there. That's just a dead crab. A ton of them, too. Because I can see some right down the way here. Yeah, y'all let me know uh, what y'all thought, what y'all's uh, thoughts are on why there are so many crabs out here that are dead. It gets me beat. This is my second season of fishing, so I'm still new at uh, a lot of things that I see out here in the marsh. But as I learn with y'all, um, you know, I'll know from here on out. It doesn't look like a crab that molted. We'll probably go home and look that up on YouTube. Spooking all the bait. Spooking all that bait. <sighs> Thank you. Well, fellas, it appears that on my, like, the backhand of my cast, the lure got tangled up around the power pole, and as I was going to go forward, I felt it. Next thing you know, the tail falls right off. Can't make this stuff up. Where's the mirror lure? What the heck did I do with it? Oh, you know what? It's right here. So what I'm going to do is take it off. And I'm going to put it on the jig head because I think that's what it was designed for. We'll see if this is going to help out the action at all. I'm thinking it is. Look at that. Okay, well... Norton, I mean not Norton, mirror lure, we're giving you a shot again, bro. Push pole and sight cast. Just like that. Um, you can't do it. Oh, we got us a little mud chicken. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Mud Chicken. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since we freaking caught one of you guys. Such a cute little fella. Well, there you go. Mirror lures and mud chickens. Such a cute guy. I mean, look at his tail. So beautiful. Blowing in that 14 mile an hour wind. Oh, buddy, you are going to be like a heartbreaker later on when you get bigger. All right.
And that's pretty much all the action that we had out there in the marsh that day. <clears throat> I want to thank each and every one of y'all for continuously coming back to the channel and watching. The torture test is alive and well. We will pick back up with that uh, mirror lure on our next marsh visit. I hope you're enjoying the uh, uh, video thus far as far as the torture test goes. But uh, at the end of it, I will put like a montage together of all the catches and how each lure performed out there. Don't worry about the Norton, we're gonna give it another shot. All right, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, click that thumbs up button, I sure would appreciate it. It helps me out with YouTube and they're recommending the videos that I produce to others out there, which leads to more subscribers and then more growth. Whew, I ate mouthful. Okay, until next time, tight lines, y'all.